Why do I speak about community marketing versus community management? Because I see from various companies where I worked for like last seven, eight, nine years since I'm in WordPress community, that this is completely misunderstood what is community marketing and what is community management because these two things you cannot even put verses behind they're on completely different side of the spectrum for each thing you can grab on about community marketing it's on opposite side from community managers so those two people are driving cars on two parallel highways which are never crossing each other and most of the time those high highways are like getting away one from another and those two persons don't like each other why is that so uh, it's because community marketing is there to use people for the benefit of the company and community management is to help people on behalf of the company so to use company to help community and that is why they're on the on the opposite sides so community management is spending money to help people community marketing is spending spending money to take more money from people and that's the biggest difference where have I started and why I have the credibility to talk about this I was construction site supervisor and my formal education is architecture so zero coding zero programming zero everything and then what happened it's world economic crisis we all know everything about world economic crisis because countries especially countries from kind of Eastern Europe like uh, from where I'm coming uh, felt that really hard and where you feel the most economic crisis is construction industry you can see that no one is building anything when there is a when there is a financial crisis and of course I decided to change my profession and of course Google told me that WordPress is something I should do and of course a community is responsible uh, for where I am now at this very moment how that happened actually I started to manage WP I finished some WordPress course or so and there was IT Connect one conference in Belgrade and there was one guy Milan Ivanovic he is hiding behind um, he was in, uh, in let's say introducing WordPress community it was about like there was a, a representative for each IT community in Serbia was in that conference and he was representing WordPress community and I was no one back then like literally just finished the course no one knew who am I and he was speaking about that and I was like who the hell is this Ivanovic and what does he talk about like what what community what is the community like when you're construction site supervisor for a decade plus there is no community there are people working on the construction site and that's it there is no community of construction site supervisors they're not meeting anywhere except in a cafe uh, to get drunk after work and that's it there is no community at all and my first job I got at Manage WP through the community because I uh, attended one uh, meetup in Belgrade where a couple of people now in automatic and other companies actually I talked to them and then I applied and got the job the second job GoDaddy actually GoDaddy acquired us then the third job in Artia I was asked to join an Artia during my talk actually Q&A during my talk in Athens in WordCamp Athens so I just answered like sorry but WordPress TV is recording my boss will watch this so I cannot accept your offer now but let's talk later and yes I really left the company and joined an RTA from an, an RTA I joined Cloudways uh, later it was all again about the community uh, Devrix the company from from Bulgaria wrote the article uh, I think 10 WordPress thoughtful leaders uh, to follow and I was on that list and at the same time of course because it's good for SEO those articles are good for SEO Cloudways decided to make a list of 100 WordPress influencers to follow and I was on that list and when they opened a couple of 
positions. I just ask their HR, do you want to hire a person who is on your blog post, top 100 people to follow in WordPress community? And yes, of course, they hired me. Uh, make WordPress org, of course, for like six or seven years there in the community team. As a, uh, and I was mentoring this conference. Here, they were really cool. We had zero meetings and zero questions, so quite experienced crew. And uh, now I'm in Indistech, again, hired through the community. I know the guy Raitis from Visual Composer and WP Bakery. They founded the new product Indistech, and that is how I've been hired. So I did my community management really good and my personal uh, branding and community marketing really good. Uh, and that is what is giving me credibility to, to talk about this today. There is only one thing where community marketing and community management have touching points, and that is engagement. You cannot buy engagement, you have to build it. When I joined WordPress org, in Slack we had around 6,000 people. At the moment it's over 50,000 people. That engagement, you cannot buy that. You need to build that, you need to invest time, you need to invest uh, resources, you need, to, you need to make people interested in what you're doing. But on the other side, uh, community marketers would say something different. It's not like just doing that, like nurturing community, etc., etc. They will say that if you stop advertising to, to save money, it would be like stopping the watch to save time. So community marketing will always be there to spend money. Community management will always be there to nurture relationship between people inside of your community. So what is community marketing? This is the definition of community marketing. And this, let's say, definition is the only thing you need to know about community marketing itself. Everything else is built on top of this definition. So it's a st strategic approach from the business side. So it's always the business behind this, where the company uses community to make money. Easy as that. So we build community. That community is promoting us to other people. The community is getting bigger. They are building our, our community by making money out of that, like through affiliate programs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They are bringing more people into the community, and you are making bigger community, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And at the moment when that community is big enough, you have the problem because no one is managing that, that community, and you have a problem. For community marketing, what is important? Building a community. The only touching point: engagement for community marketing and community management. Community marketing is sharing content. This is really important to re uh, remember this for the two slides from here. Feedback and communication to collect feedback and to communicate what's important for the company. So community marketing is only communicating what's important for the company and to reach the company goals. And advocacy, but you will see another advocacy in community management, but this one is completely different. As I said, it's always on the different side of the spectrum. This advocacy is using your community members as your advocates in online communities, in, in social media, etc., etc. So this advocacy is using your users as your advocates, as people who are representing you. On the other side, community management is this. This is also, let's say, the definition which is the uh, foundation for everything you're building on top of this. It's the process of seeing and overseeing and nurturing needs of your community online and offline and uh, to make sure that it operates smoothly. I will explain later what does this actually means and to serve its intended person. For example, uh, purpose, for example, our WordPress community has one purpose. To have something which is free, will be free, and stay free forever. And uh, Matt Malinwick said that that is how WordPress started actually. Do you know the sentence, what actually 
um, uh, Matt Mullen reposted on uh, Cafe Log and how WordPress actually started. Who knows that conversation between Mike Little and Matt Malinik? You know. The conversation was like this. They were using B2 Catalog. It was blogging software, but it was not maintained for some period of time. And Matt Malinik had the whole blog there. And he said, I'm afraid that something happened to uh, Valdrigi, Michael wait, Valdrigi, yes, who was founder of Back to Catalog. He said, maybe I will lose everything I have here because he's not maintaining the product. It would be so cool to make a product which will be always free and if something happens to me, someone else can continue maintaining it and, and uh, so it serves the purpose even if I don't exist. And Mike Little responded, the other co-founder of WordPress as WordPress said, well, I have a couple of friends and me as developers, we could help building something like that. And that is how WordPress started. It was not Matt, it was actually Mike Little, the guy who later left the community. He was always there, but let's say he left the community as, as active developer and, and contributor. What is important for community management, as I said, on completely opposite side, moderation, you need to take care of the community and to moderate conversations because it's quite easy for the big community for the things to go down the slippery slope. Number two, engagement, the only thing which is the same between those two. As you remember, I said sharing content for community marketing. So they're just sharing content. Content curation is actually community management is deciding what content should be written and shared with the community because they're interested to read something like that and that is what they want to read and learn more about it. And community marketing at the same time is sharing only what's valuable for them to convert and sell. So again, completely different sides of the spectrum. Conflict resolution, of course, there are always conflicts in every community. I mean, in your house, there are like four people living. You're like pretty much similar DNA because you're the family, but you have conflicts every day. Here at this room, we are all different. We are not same and equal. Whoever says that has like biggest misconception and not a misunderstanding of the entire planet. Because my background is architecture and I'm the single, I was the single child in the family and my parents were in architecture and construction industry. But for example, your parents are maybe musicians and your parents are programmers and your parent is a teacher and uh, your family was like 10 kids and, and parents. We all have different backgrounds. We are not equal and we cannot be equal because our starting point is completely different for, for each one of us. Some of you guys, we, you completed like programming in university and I'm uh, graduated architecture. We are not the same. We are not equal and we cannot be equal. And uh, embracing that, that we are all different and there is no equality, but we are all different, is what is making one community great and good. Uh, not having a problem that someone is different from you is the most important thing. Uh, and number five, advocacy. Again, we had that advocacy, if you remember, with community marketing, but this is completely different. This is where community manager is advocate of community in front of the company. So when community wants something, community man manager is actually going to the right place in the company and says like, our community wants this feature to be implemented by the end of the year. And community marketing is using in the opposite way community to use community as advocates to sell their products. Two completely different people. And uh, I have to say the community manager is a better person. You can see that like community marketers are lying. Community marketers are just trying to sell and to reach goals. And community manager is there to understand community and to be the part of that community and best representative 
of the community in front of the company. And you will see that actually, under, understand that in the next couple of slides. Focus of community marketing revolves around leveraging their community or a network of like-minded individuals to promote and enhance a brand product or service and it emphasizes using the community as a marketing channel. So there are people who are actually abusing you. You can see that in all communities for like, you can check Facebook groups of all plugins, teams, premium plugins, team, et cetera, et cetera. They're always using marketers or always using the group to upsell something to their members to offer some affiliate scheme or whatever. And that is fine, of course, because all of us need money to do things. But community manager is always like a nicer person in, in, the, in that story because it centers on overseeing and maintaining the community itself. How? By creating positive, engaging, and well-structured environment there where community members can connect, inter interact, and support each other. That is why rules are important. In the WordPress community, rules are extremely important, even though very often you think there are no rules. But the moment uh, when you try to break those rules, the entire community will see you as a person who does not belong to that community. And that happens very often. No one has, has to tell you, like, don't do that. You will understand that you did something wrong, even if you never read code of conduct or anything else. It happens occasionally that people do things like unintentionally. We had a situation in WordCamp Vienna. There was a guy in a t-shirt which was like quite inappropriate for any woman who see the text on. And when we asked him like, bro, you cannot wear the t-shirt. He was like, <gasps> I was not aware that I'm wearing this T-shirt. I just pulled it out of the wardrobe. And he took, of course, T-shirt of the conference, put it on, on and said, sorry, I never meant to insult anyone. It was just a joke T-shirt. And I was not even aware of that. And that is happening. And it's fine. We are not perfect. Who is perfect can, can throw the first stone. Like, that, that's something. If you're perfect and you have zero sins, throw the first stone. Goal of community marketing is, of course, to abuse you. The primary goal of community marketing is to boost brand awareness, reach, and loyalty through the engagement of community members, which involves always like treating you well for being good. Ten. I'm nailing it. You see, I'm literally around that number. Um, yeah, he's a timekeeper, and they're showing us like how many minutes we have until the end very, uh, uh, a very important role in WordCamps, because we can talk for hours, to be honest. Um, what they want you to think, community marketers, that you are important. And then they're like rewarding you for being, for being good, for behaving nicely, for representing the brand. And you think they're doing that because you're good, but they're doing that because they want you to do more. That is why they are rewarding you. At the same time, community management's goal, primary goal, is to ensure that it, that, uh, it operates smoothly, remains respectful, and serves its intended persons. It's like, as I said, resolving conflicts, fostering a sense of belonging. And this is the place where we community managers are kind of, sorry, breaching code of conduct, assholes. This is where we are assholes because we are fostering a sense of belonging. So we want you to feel that you belong to something. But you cannot belong to my company because we're not paying you. You're just our user. But I want you to think that you're part of the family. You know, when you say something and I say, kudos, good job, I like what, what you just said, thanks for your contribution. Sometimes I really think that, but sometimes I'm like, I don't care what you just said, but you're active in the group. I see you're very active. And very often you're giving some meaningful answers to other members of Facebook group, for example. 
but at that specific point you said something stupid but i don't want to insult you so i will say like kudos for that but it's not what i think but you will have that sense of belonging because for every time you post something you comment something someone from that community some manager from the company will tell you how cool you are and you will feel better and you will feel that you belong to, to that group of people and we all like to belong to something if i say today here today drupal is better than, than wordpress what would be the reaction how many of you would say yes we agree how many of you zero wordpress is better than drupal how many everyone yeah imagine that i did this in DrupalCon. what will happen completely opposite direction no because you like where you belong you feel here that is safe etc etc but also drupal people feel really safe and nice in drupal uh more activities community marketing the most of their activities is uh, pulling more money out of the community and uh, growing the revenue and reaching the goals and breaking the revenue from the previous month next month year on year year on month month on month that that are the only numbers they they understand and they read and they want to read no one cares about you who you are what you're doing you are twenty seven thousand dollars more in revenue this month community through community channels uh, 17 percent out of that was through community channels that is who you are for community marketer you are the number in reaching the goal for community manager you are not that for community manager you are someone who is there to help building a better product because from a really useful people who especially those who are from the very beginning they're like early adopters you had the best feedback like guys this button is a bit on a weird place because every time i'm thinking where should i click to launch something because it's kind of hidden why not putting that button on the other place and then you have really useful feedback and thousands and thousands of people will be happy with that because when one person complains about something in your product there are 28 people not complaining but thinking the same and that is like one of the stats I very often share, even though stats are there just to support my opinion, even though very often they are not correct. Okay, things to take home. How many minutes? <laughs> Nailing it. Things, take this home. Number one, go for the community marketing. Offer incentives for advocate and if startups for early adopters, offer them something marketing is doing that offer them something to make the money for themselves so they will make money for you as well affiliate programs referral programs uh, lower prices for them uh, ltd licenses i mean a lifetime deal is the biggest scam ever when you say lifetime deal there was a communication a couple of days ago with breezy on breezy group a page builder breezy the guy was complaining because they can see that on paddle dashboard where they are paying for the license for the lifetime deal expiration date is set to 2035 and he was like why is 2035 i mean it's lifetime deal i was like bro it's a lifetime deal of the product a lifetime of the product not your lifetime because tomorrow company can say okay we are not supporting this product anymore and that's it that's the end of the life cycle of the product lifetime deal is not your life it's life of the product itself but lifetime deals and that kind of stuff, that is how you actually promote the product at early stages. And that is when you use advocates and early adopters to promote your product. Take this home as well. Take care of lunatics joining the community. Uh, and clear abusers there everywhere. So it's like in church. We have a, a priest in our local church. He says, like, in church, you're either completely crazy or normal. There is nothing in the middle. And that's the same with the community. We have even one person in our community uh, who thinks that he is a god of WordPress. And if you check his Twitter account, you will see his name and god of WordPress. So they're like really different kind of people coming into your community with, again, different backgrounds, but also some with delusions that there's something they're not. 
uh, more to take home. Reward active people and listen to their feedback, learn and improve. This learn and improve is something that if you're not doing regularly, learn and improve, your company is prone to die. So you're either learning and improving, improving and you're learning from your customers because you cannot see uh, the forest if you're standing in front of the one tree because if, it's, if the tree is in front of you, and it is, and you're inside the product, inside the company, you're in front of the tree. But your customers are actually looking at the whole forest and they see better than you. More to take home, maybe you'll need a bigger box to take all of this home. Uh, stand your ground, but don't be rude. Every time stand your ground. When someone is accusing you for something, you know they're not right. Because when you say like, well, Boeing is a crappy airplane. Uh, I crashed it on the runway. Well, you don't know how to fly Boeing. Maybe you fly Cessna or some small airplanes and you know how to drive that, but you don't know how to fly Boeing. So you think, you think the Boeing is crap just because you don't know how to operate it. That is when you're standing your ground. You have to say, like, we understand your frustration, but it's, it's just because of the lack of knowledge, not because our product sucks. But only when you're, when you're right. But rude is not equal to sincere, and you need to, to remember this. Rude is not equal to sincere. Very often, people are justifying their rudeness by saying, yeah, but I was just sincere, I was just honest. And if that hurts, it's not my problem. It is. Because being rude is a fake representation of the power of weak people. Weak people think when they're rude, that they're actually in power. But they're actually weak. And it's not something you ever do in your community. More to take home, maybe you will need a van in this case. Watch out, there is a lot of toxicity in every community. One toxic person or one rotten apple will destroy all apple, apples in the basket. One toxic people will poison dozens of people. Uh, more to take home, you will need Iveco truck. I used Iveco because it's from Italy, of course. There are different, different people, and I will take one minute from questions and answers because these three are extremely important things to remember. Assume misunderstanding. Don't play like Italians on the first ball, like on the volley. When, when the ball is, is dropping, you take the volley and hit the ball. No, let it touch the ground, stop on the ball, think about it, and then react. Why? Because there are language barriers. You're Italians, you speak English in one way, Serbs are speaking English in another way, Americans in a third way. The same sentence pronounced by me, you, or American can have a different meaning. And that is why you need to have that, understand those language barriers can be a problem. If you tell to American, can you click the green button? They will be like, cool, I will click the green button, cool, bro, thanks. If you say that the same thing to a British person, can you click the green button? They will uh, understand that as imperative, as you're forcing them to do something. So you need to use, could you? Or something like that. It's, it's this, even in the same language, and imagine the difference with different, different uh, backgrounds. And cultural differences, what is normal for me from, from patriarchy, country, Serbia, and what's normal for you in Italy, and what's normal for someone from Pakistan, those are three completely different normal things. So you need to take into account our backgrounds and our cultural differences. And if you do all this wisely, your community should be fine, as our WordPress community is fine, and we grew from 7,000 to 50,000 people only on Slack in the last six or seven years and there. So we did a great job as well with that community. And grazie a tutti. I'm WP Alex, Alexander Salkovic. Thanks for being here today.